Hello everybody, I'm Bob and you can call me Bob. This is Tylen, I don't know what you can call it. But here's the deal, one of my motor vlogging buddies got a really raw deal recently and it's, the details are just so stupid you'll find it hard to believe. But there's a lesson to be learned here and it could happen to you and so I'll fill you in on what happened to him. And I'll uh, let him explain the actual charges and all the stuff they robbed from him coming up right now. Now most of us realized probably before we were 10 or 12 years old that not everything we see on TV is real. Some people go to the trouble to think about what they're looking at, consider if it could be real, before they do something blatantly stupid. That wasn't the case here. Now, as you can see from the little clip I just showed you, you can do a lot of tricks with video, and you just can't believe everything you see. But my buddy, who is a motor blogger in Sweden, got busted because the police thought his speedometer on his bike showed him going 137 kph. What they didn't know was he had changed his front sprocket down three uh, teeth. So the speedometer, as most of you know, reads off of the front sprocket and how fast it's turning is what the speed it shows. Doesn't have anything to do with the speed of the vehicle at that point. But you won't believe all the stuff they took from him. It's just, I don't want to call anybody a poop head, but whoever issued that warrant and whoever made the original charges and whoever else was involved with this nonsense needs to be mentally evaluated. Here, here's my buddy telling you all the stuff they took from him. I mean, cash, bikes, computers, clothes, everything. Uh, from the police, all the stuff that they took from me. Look what they took. The police busted down my door yesterday. See, 14th of August. At 6 in the morning, they busted down to my door. They took 3,400 cash, 10, 10 silver bars times 1 kilo, laptop, GoPro, video camera, Tablet, uh, motorcycle shoes, memory sticks, telephone, iPad mini, uh, my memory, my external memory, eight memory cards, a camera, two motorcycle pants, all my motorcycle clothes. They took my, all three of my helmets, motorcycle helmets. They took a computer, a PC, all this stuff. The GoPro, camera, everything. Down here, motorcycle, one Suzuki, one uh, scooter, Yamaha, gone. The idiotic Swiss police, they left me the eggs, thank you very much. They left me the police, arrested me for um, riding too fast, okay? But what these idiot police and idiot district attorneys, what they did is they watched my YouTube videos where I was riding a motorcycle. And all they did is look at the speedometer. And all they saw was the speed that was on my speedometer in the videos. This is based solely off that. They have no facts. They have no evidence. All that they have is me on the motorcycle and a speedometer showing speed more than is allowed on Swiss roads. Okay, but what these idiots did not even go and check, did not even go and look, that if you change the sprocket on a motorcycle, on, on lots of motorcycles, the sprocket will, that's where your speedometer is set up to read. So on original, this is original, it shows correct speed on the speedometer, but I changed mine. 
I put I put three te uh, three teeth lower, right? So this is turning a lot faster, and the uh, speedometer is showing a lot higher. You can go look at these videos; you'll see the speedometer speed is pretty high. But you look at the white lines on the road and, and the side of the road, it's just going really, really slow. And these idiot police, idiot district attorney, they did not even check. All they did is look at the speedometer, put out a, war a warrant to arrest this guy, and then they stole all of my stuff. All this, 3400 bucks, 10 kilos of silver, my motorcycle, my scooter. They left me the eggs, and they left me the numbers for the motorcycle. Okay, but the one thing... The one thing that would actually show them that the uh, speed is not correct, that they leave. They're not even interested in knowing the, you know, actual speed. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to base your whole case based on a digital image of a, of a, on a speedometer? Now I'm going to try and find the email address of the district attorney and the police department in my buddy's town or district. And I'll put that in the description in case any of y'all want to send them hate mail. Uh, the sooner they realize they're worthy of being a, a laughing stock, the more likely they are to drop it. But right now they're in the brain dead mode and uh, it's a shame. Now before this happened, I always thought Switzerland was a pretty cool place. Now I'm beginning to think that the old Gestapo and SS and Nazis from World War II have got children in the police force in Switzerland. So that's my message, but remember this, if you don't focus your camera high enough to uh, like at the top of your mirrors, don't show them your, don't show them your instruments. It's a mistake. And I'm pretty sure these aren't the only idiot police out there. So take care of yourselves and be careful. There's a lot of police sitting around scratching their chin, watching videos while they appear to be watching out for you. I've, I've run through construction areas where they had police with the lights on, trying to make it safer. Looked down into their car from my big truck and they were watching porn. So keep in mind, those guys got nothing to do in a lot of cases, and you could be their next victim. Ride safe, guys. Good luck. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. My buddy's channel name is Cattle in Hay, just the letter N, Cattle in Hay. And he's called the Eggman because he throws eggs at cars that pull out in front of him, and occasionally tomatoes. So show him some love. He's a good guy, um, and uh, we appreciate it once again you taking the time to look at this. I hope every good, I hope every day is a good day for you. Best to you.